peace and greetings what's good welcome back to my channel this is naya here and uh this video is going to be an unboxing of another deck that i got in the deck swap i do have one more video after this so this is an oracle deck by the artist uh noah nafo i assume the k is silent this deck um is really the artwork is very beautiful so i wanted to flip through it and show you guys what it looks like so here is the little book lip that it comes with um there's space to journal with on one side and then a little delineation and description on the other side and these are the cards those are the backs um, here we have it compared to a standard, uh, tarot size. So just a little bit bigger, definitely hand handleable for a Oracle deck. So I appreciate that. And the meanings are not overly, um, long. So I find that to be really helpful. Okay. So here we have the cards and I will just do a flip through of them so you can see them. They're so pretty. Let's get that in there. Let's try to get that glare out of there if we can. Okay. Wonderful. So here we have uh, Pachamama. Into Life. Tell me that the colors in this are not just so good. Uh, only problem is it's hella glossy. Um, but the Watcher, the Centaur, Circle of Life, Deep Roots. the diamond and i love that these keywords are like not the same they're different you know um i mean i don't know it has a good vibe to it new discoveries out of reach the egg the cracked egg in this picture fearless warrior inside my spirituality the horse thank you nature connection the rebel this deck is kind of psychedelic now that I'm you know looking at it again uh, pure dream but it's like not vintage psychedelic but modern psychedelic the baby water of wisdom the third eye looking forward freedom the gate of knowledge here and now plants guide us Adam Barr I wonder what that means um, let me take a second to see what that means because that's definitely <laughs> Adam Barr meaning nature man in Hebrew represents the very first man and how he connected to his surroundings this card is about new beginnings in the image, the triangles interlock in such a way that the point of one touches the middle of the base of the other. This symbolizes a pattern in the universe where the smallest and largest are connected at the same point. We can look at many things in life through this pattern, for instance. The present is a small point in our lives, but it is also the larger point since it represents the oldest we've ever been. Oh, very cool. Okay, setting the bar fire of angels 
another world's soul. The lovers. Self-portrait. Reflection, reaction. The mermaid. Mental agriculture. That's, I love that idea, mental agriculture. The other side, the shaman and the mushroom. So that was a pretty quick flip through. Um, let me go ahead and give it a shuffle and um, we'll give it a reading, a random general public reading with these cards. So let's see what comes out. Universe, give us messages for those watching, for the viewers, that something that they need to know and take with them this week or whenever they watch this video. Okay, what I want you to do is just take a deep breath, decompress, and get out of the cerebral and into the heart space. And we're gonna do like a pick a card, so do you want card number one, card number two, or card number three? Take a minute to just focus on that. And I will flip each one by one and read just out of the guidebook to see what it says. All right. So one, two, or three. All right. So the first one, another world soul. It says you might not be aware of something that is affecting you or able to grasp the full scope since there is much that exists beyond our current consciousness. Try instead to understand the manifestations of what's affecting you to lead a bigger picture. A cow in a cow shed might not be able to grasp that it's a part of a larger milk industry, but it may understand that it is caged. What are the effects of the powers that are guiding you? If you draw this card and do not recall a time of being in tune with a dimension of existence outside of mundane 3D reality, it may be that your inner self is calling you to make that connection. Time spent in nature, meditation, or just quiet contemplation may bring you to a subtle awareness that is part of existence that is beyond space and time. Consistency in tuning into these portions of being can invite higher. Okay, moving on to the second card. We have Water of Wisdom. It has to be at the end here. Water of Wisdom. There is a wisdom in everything in the world, even in the simplest of things. Try drinking water as if it's your first time. Experience it without judgment. Feel yourself tasting it and the water going through your body. Know that there is wisdom even in this. Drop all ego and judgment and notice when you are moving through life in an automated way. When you live in an automated mode, you miss the wisdom that lies all around you. Okay, and the third card, the third eye. Okay, trying to get to it. The third eye. I know you're right in here. Okay. The third eye represents knowledge that is expansive and otherworldly. It is knowable but not seeable since it lies beyond the physical world. Open your third eye to connect to the universal database of knowledge. This is knowledge that comes from within instead of what we take from our external world through our physical eyes. It is also informed 
information that is clear and without question, since the third eye is but one ultimate channel, not two. Take care of both your physical body and spiritual self, for they must be in balance. Suddenly you will feel you have absolute knowledge within you, and you will not doubt it. So those are the messages that come straight from the book in regards to these three cards. I hope that it helped you in some way. And I'm going to go ahead and end the video right here. Ache, much love, many blessings. Peace.